It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Arava Brewing Company. And this is a can of their Summer Vibes. This is a sour ale coming in at 5.4% ABV. Now a lot of the beer from Finland, or say from Orava Brewing Company in Finland, should I say, is 5.4% ABV. A lot of their sour beers are 5.4% ABV. I'm wondering if they found a sweet spot at this brewery where they can produce really good sour beer. They got a really good recipe. They're sticking to that recipe, but then they're just kind of like forking off with the different flavors in the beer. Like the other day, we had a we had a peat pear and flubber sour at five point four percent ABV. This time we have a summer vibes three hundred thirty milliliter can. Uh, brewed with strawberry, mango and pear. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Thank you very much to Arava Brewing Company for sending us the beer. Or should I say, shouldn't say Arava, should I? Because um, it was actually Buddy Visor. Buddy Visor who sent us the beer. Cheers, Buddy Visor. Here we go. Hear that hiss of carbonation as it falls away. It was a one finger white head for the briefest of moments. That gives me a lot of confidence when I when I pour a sour beer and the head dissipates as quickly as that. It gives me a lot of confidence because that's the general mannerism. If a sour beer had a mannerism, if it was going to do the same thing over and over again, if it was a really good sour beer, then that head phew, dissipates really quickly. A little bit of carbonation, a little bit of carbonation floating up the side of the glass. It's definitely kind of mango looking. Looks like mango juice, this one. Mango, strawberry and pear. I chilled this one down, put it in the fridge, got it down to about four degrees overnight. It's been out the fridge about half an hour. So it's it's probably about five, six, maybe even seven degrees, but it's still nice and cold. Still nice and cold, but warming it up a little bit, you're really gonna get an advantage of all those kind of like multi flavors coming through. This one's actually got legs to it. Alcohol legs, you can see. Can you see the little shimmer on the side of the glass? I roll it round. You see it clinging to the glass a little bit. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, and by now, this is probably my third or fourth day of reviewing Arava Brewing Company beers, their, their sour beers, with different flavour additions, of course. But they all have this very similar base beer, base sour beer aroma to them. It almost smells a little bit like beetroot juice. A little bit like rhubarb. A very organic, fruity aroma to them. Smells okay. Definitely got a little bit of that kind of cheeky sourness coming through. It's already put a smile on my face. Let's dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 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 oh that is full on. Oh, that is... That was like now i've just said i've been doing these arava beers from finland for the last four days these sour beers that was by far that is by far much sourer than the previous four sour beers 
we've reviewed from Arava. That is bonkersly sour beer. Wow, I bet my face was like a crisp bag being scrumpled up <laughs> as I took a sip of the beer. Oh, blimey, governor. Whoa, 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 that is sour. But not just sour. As that sourness leaves your palate, very slowly, very slowly, you get a real sense of the mango coming through. A little bit of dry pear. The strawberry, well, we'll keep tasting it. We'll keep sipping the beer. We'll keep looking for that strawberry flavour but at the moment it's more pear, a dry pear flavour coming through and that wonderful kind of mango flavour coming through of course massively massively sour to begin with but what I love about this style of beer not so much in this one not so much in this sour beer because the mango picks up the baton normally when you drink a sour beer the sourness hits you, the sourness goes away, and you're left with this crisp wafer malt flavour. But you don't, you, you get it a little bit, don't get me wrong, you do get a little bit of that kind of crisp wafer malt flavour. But where you normally taste that, you're picking mango up, is it the, like the mango flavour has replaced that wafer biscuit. I must have got this, this must be like end of batch, end of where they were canning. This must have been one of the last ones because this is crazily sour. Yeah, crazily sour beer, really sour. But then, if you're watching the review now, if you rewind back to the start of the review where I first tasted the beer, it was a lot more intrusive. That sour flavour was far, far more intrusive to begin with. That then goes away. That then goes away and you're left with more of a... Well, it's, it, it's less intrusive because your palate gets used to it. Your actual taste buds get used to that sour flavour. Some people find it a relief. Some people find getting past that first couple of sour tastes, they, they can really then enjoy the beer. Um, some people want the sour flavour to go on forever. It depends who you are. I mean... A lot of a, a lot of craft beer bars now that they, they, they serve at least one or two sour beers. I know that because we drink in Craft Republic. The branding on this glass we drink there, and they've always got at least one or two sour beers on. Uh, they're very very popular. It's good. It's good. I I, I promise to try and find the strawberry flavour. It's more of a mixed fruit than strawberry. You pick up a little bit of pear, the mango. Maybe, maybe if I'm pushing it, a little touch of strawberry. But it's good. It's good beer. One of the sourest beers I've had from Arava Brewing Company. Thank you very much, Buddy Visors, for sending. I like this. I really like this, actually. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.